bicep workout for peak. So the bicep, as the name implies, has two heads. Has the has the outer head, has the inner head. When we're focusing on the peak, we're really focusing on the outer head of the bicep. So that's what we're, this workout is going to be mainly about. We're going to be focusing on the peak. If you do this right here, right, this, if you perform this by yourself right now, you will notice that the, that the bicep contracts. It almost looks like a ball. So it's growing towards this way, right? Especially the outer head of the bicep. So I got five exercises that we're going to perform in this workout. And we're going to go, most of the time, I like to go 20. 15, 12, 10, and eight, but we're not gonna do that in this workout. We're gonna be focusing on high repetitions, so we're gonna go between 12 to 20 in that rep range. We're gonna go into that rep range. So don't pick a weight that is too easy that you can go over 20, but don't pick anything too heavy that we're gonna go below 12, okay? So just focus on that rep range between 12 and 20. So it's almost like we're going intermediate to high repetitions, okay? Five sets each exercise. And we're gonna, we're gonna kick it off with the first one, which is the dead hang dumbbell curls. So you can do this on one or two ways. You can do a complete dead hang when you don't have any padding where you're reclining yourself to, right? Or you can go into the other side of the preacher um, of the preacher machine or the preacher uh, padding and use the the one that is completely completely flat so you can rest your tricep onto it right so you're mostly doing this reclining your your bicep right here and then performing the exercise so anything that is dead hang anything that is just um, yeah anything that is mostly dead hang or incline or, or anything like that is going to be more focused on the peak as opposed to um, the overall mass of the bicep so since we're focusing on the peak we're going to be doing a lot of dead hangs and other exercises that actually uh, target that area so the first exercise as i said is the dead hang dumbbell curls um you want to really focus on the contraction when you bring it all the way up and control that negative part of the rep okay so since we're doing higher repetitions the burn is going to be higher you're going to feel the burn even more that I suppose that you, as you were going from 8 to 12 in that rep range. So that's the first exercise. Do it independently for this first one. The second exercise is called the reverse incline barbell curl. Now you're going to pick the easy bar curl, which is the one with all the curves, right? And you're going to hold the bar right in the middle. Right in the middle, okay? In the close grip uh, area. Remember, when you hold the bar close together, you're gonna to be targeting the outer part of the bicep. If you bring it all the way up, right, you're gonna be focusing on the inner part of the bicep. So, grab it in the middle, right? Place yourself in the incline so that as the incline bench is almost like if, if, it, your, if your chest was resting on the incline, and then perform the exercise. Don't allow your elbows to move around, okay? Keep your elbows in just one place as I'm doing in the video, okay? Perform the exercise, contract, hold, bring it all the way back down. That's the second exercise. The third exercise is actually one of my favorite exercises for bicep. It's really good, the contraction is well, it's very good, and it really targets the, the peak of the bicep. So you're gonna go all the way to the cables. It's called the guillotine curls. So you're gonna put the, the pulley, the cable pulley all the way up right or or high enough so that you have complete range of motion when you're performing the exercise you're gonna be laying down on the floor pick a handle right and what I want you to do is bring that handle all the way to your forehead but do not allow the elbow to move it's almost like this part of the arm is locked into it can't be moved the only thing that is moving is just your wrist and your and your forearm okay bring it all the way to your uh, to your forehead all the way back down. So high pulley, bring it all the way down, all the way up, independently. 12, 12 to 20 repetitions for each arm. When you're finished with that one, you're gonna move to the free weights, okay? You're gonna pick a bench and put it on an incline position, almost like a 45 degree angle. You're gonna be performing that incline dumbbell curls. So, they, as opposed to like, when you do incline as opposed to the regular seated double alternating curls, the stretch is deeper when you're on an incline, okay? It's, it's deeper and you cannot use your body to bring the weight up. So normally you will have to pick a lighter weight as opposed to the 
standing or that normal seated alternating double curls. So keep that in mind when you choose the weight. Okay, so you're gonna be uh, reclined to a 45 degree angle, right? And you're gonna be performing the exercise almost just exactly as you would do with the seated or the standing, right? But in an inclined position. That's going to target the outer part of the bicep as well. And the fifth and final exercise, if you don't have this machine, it's okay, but it's called the, the machine preacher curls. And you're gonna do it independently, okay? You're gonna grab it as close as possible to to the red area of the of the handle. If you can focus on, if you can see it on the video, that's perfectly, come on, that, that, that's going to give you like the perfect positioning. So, the ring finger, as close as possible to the red, to the red area of the handle. What I mean by that is as close as possible to the center of your body. Okay, and you're gonna perform the exercise. As you can, as you can see, just by choosing a, a closer positioning, the bicep is actually is it, it's better contracting on the outer area of the bicep. So that's what you want. Okay. So the five exercises again to a recap. The first one: dead hang double curls, reverse incline barber curls. Then we move to the cables to do the guillotine curls. Fourth exercise is the incline double curls and then finally the machine pressure curls individually. Okay, this, this workout is very good for peaks. If you're looking for that ball, right, that ball, that softball action in your bicep, this is the workout for you. It's fantastic. Let me know in the comment section what you guys thought about it. Remember to follow me on social media. There's a link for a Telegram group completely free of charge where you can ask me any question regarding your fitness goals. I will answer it for you. And remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you on the next